For the following exercises, use the descriptions of each pair of lines given below to find the slopes of line one and line two. Is each pair of lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? All right, so first thing is in order to determine, so actually, well, first, let's find the slopes, okay? And then we'll figure it out from there if it's parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So they tell you line one passes through these two points. And our job then is to figure out uh, the slope of this line. So basically, right, we, we can, if we wanted to, we can draw this out on a graph, right, the two points. So basically, just to get a quick visual, right, this has x value of 0, y value of 6. So that to me is probably somewhere around here. By the way, this is not going to be to scale, all right? This point then is positive 3 and then negative 24, so all the way like down here somewhere. So I would draw like a little line and uh, a straight line, hopefully. And there we go. So what we're trying to do is find the slope of this line. Okay, that's the idea. Now I'm assuming that the line is straight. Okay, that it's basically linear. So um, how do we do that? Well, there's kind of two places where the slope comes up, right, in linear equations. One is in the y is equal to mx plus b, and the other one is going to be the slope formula. The slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So they did not give me the equation of the line. They gave me the two, they gave me two points. Now it turns out that I actually can find the equation also, but that's not really what the question is asking. The question is asking me to find the slope. So, out of these two formulas for linear equations, which you, by the way, should memorize, this is the formula we're going to use. Because remember, this is the formula that calculates slope when you know two points. Here's point one, your x and y. Here's point two, your x and y. So, let's do that for line one. Line one. So the slope here is going to be equal to y2. So let's call this value, and let's just label it here, right? This will be x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's plug in the y2, so negative 24. Then minus now my y1, which is 6. Okay, great. So let's plug in 6. Divided then by the x2 value, which was 3. And then it's going to be 3 minus 0. And look at how easy peasy this is, right? This is basically in addition, but we're going to keep the negative sign. So that's negative 30 all over 3. And what does that work out to be? Negative 10. Okay, that's the slope of line 1. Let's do now the same thing for line 2. I'll put it right here, line 2. Same exact thing. The slope will then be equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here's my y2 value. So that's going to be negative 71 minus then my y1 value, which is 19. So minus 19 there. And then we have now x2, which is 8, and then minus then a negative 1. Be careful here, right? Plug this in with parentheses, okay? Because it's x2 minus x1. All right. So now let's just clean this up a little bit. M will be equal to now. So basically this works out to be kind of an addition, right? but keep the negative sign, so that works out to be negative 90, all then divided by, this is a double negative makes a positive, right? So it's 8 plus 9 now, excuse me, is 8 plus 1, which is 9. You might say, what the heck is this guy talking about? Um, so now the slope of this line here, when we simplify it, is going to be equal to negative 10. Oh my goodness. Let's call this slope 1 and slope 2, and notice the relationship between these two slopes now. What are they? Well, they're exactly identical. And now we have to remember what that exactly means. Equal slopes means the lines are parallel. Okay? If these two were op negative reciprocals of one another, meaning if this were negative 10, then this better be positive 1 over 10. Because remember, this is really like saying negative 10 over 1. Flip this fraction becomes 1 over 10 and then just negate it. So if this is negative, then it becomes positive. If this were positive, it would become negative. If that were the case, then we would have had perpendicular lines, okay? And if the slopes were neither uh, equal to one another or negative reciprocals, then they're neither, right? So if this was the negative 10, and let's say this thing was, I don't know, 42. Well, they're definitely not equal. They're definitely not opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals. So they're neither. It's as easy as that. 
Watch how fast we're going to fly through the second example. So here we'll have the slope of the first one. So here's my y2 value, so 89 minus then y1, which is the negative 55. Okay, then now divide this now by the x2 value, which is 10, uh, minus then the negative 8. All right, so the slope here is going to be equal to 5, 4, so that's 1, 1, 40, 4. And why don't I just double check that in the calculator? Because I'm kind of a little half asleep at the moment. So this is going to be plus 55. So cool, 144. All right. Never hurts to double check. And here we're going to have basically, remember the reason why is because that was a double negative. So it's essentially 89 plus then 55. Same thing down here. It's going to be 10 plus 8, which is then 18. And now here we're going to then calculate that. So we're going to take 144 and divide it then uh, by the 18. And we realize that we get a value of about 8. Okay, so 8. So there's the slope of line 1. I'll call that slope 1. So here this was m1, m1. Cool. So now let's do slope 2. So y2, it's going to be negative 14. So negative 14 minus then a negative 44. And let me just squeeze this on over to the left a little bit. And now also, so y, uh, x2 will be 4 minus then a 9. Now remember, it doesn't matter. If you call these two points your 2s, meaning your x2 and y2, and this your 1, meaning x1 and y1, you would have literally arrived at the same value at the end, okay? It would have looked a little different at the beginning, but we would have ended up with the same value. So it really doesn't matter what you call 1 and 2. It's, it's relative, okay? But just be consistent, meaning that if you're going to call this right here x2, then this better be y2, okay? It better be. So M2, <laughs> so M2, sorry, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah. Okay. Back to, yeah. So, okay. So this, right, this is basically a, a subtraction more or less because we have a negative sign. This works out to be a positive, the, the, the double negative that is. So it basically works out to 44 minus 14, which works out to then 30. Okay. Positive 30. Then divided by this math here is going to work out to be a negative five. And we can just then solve for that, right? So this works out to then be a uh, negative, uh, negative 6, all right? So now notice, what's the relationship between now these two slopes, 8 and negative 6? Well, they're not equal, they're not negative reciprocals. So the answer is, they're neither parallel nor perpendicular. Easy as that. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully this video helped. And if it did, help us out. Hit that subscribe button, like button, tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Take care.